Corey, and welcome to my hips, thighs, and calf weight training tape. Weight training is not just for bodybuilders, but it's for anyone who wants to improve the shape of their body. And while you start looking better on the outside, you'll notice many other benefits, like increased strength, faster metabolism, and a lot more energy. Really, the benefits of weight training are just endless. But before we get started, let's first talk about the workout and how you're going to progress. Now, before you start each workout, you've got to get your blood flowing. You can march in place, you can go for a brisk walk, you can do the stepper like little Michelle is, or you can work on a machine like Dave, or you can just ride the stationary bike like I'm doing. And also throughout this tape, I'm going to be demonstrating what you can do at home on just a little bit of equipment you might have at home. Michelle will be demonstrating spa equipment, and Dave will be demonstrating equipment that you might find in an athlete's or bodybuilder's gym. But just be sure now that you always take at least five minutes initially to warm up. Warming up increases your blood circulation, also lubricates your joints. Warming up increases the efficiency of your workout by bringing oxygen and nutrients to your muscle and helps decrease the risk of injury. Now, weight training is the exercise system for firming your body, building sexy curves, losing or gaining weight, and achieving vitality, fitness, and that special radiance. Now, we'll be showing you a variety of exercises, which can be done by the beginner, intermediate, or advanced exercisers. The only difference between these levels depends on your intensity output. Now, first of all, to increase your intensity, you'll either increase the number of sets you are doing, the number of repetitions you are doing, or the amount of weight you are lifting. A repetition, or rep as we call it, is one complete movement of an exercise from your starting point to the midpoint and back to your starting point again. A set is a number of repetitions performed in a sequence without stopping. As a beginner, you should start with one to two sets per exercise and work out three alternating days a week. As you progress to an intermediate exerciser, you can jump to two to three sets per exercise and work out four to five days per week. Advanced exercisers can do three to five sets per exercise and jump all the way to five to six days of exercise a week. But in all cases, intermediates, beginners, advanced, you should always try to get at least 12 repetitions for all your upper body exercises and 15 repetitions for all your lower body exercises. We will be dividing our body into muscle groupings. One day we'll exercise our chest, shoulders, and triceps, which is all the pushing muscles. Another day, which is today, we will be exercising our hips, thighs, and calves. And on a third day, we'll exercise our back, biceps, and abdominals. Now, splitting up our body parts like this will provide for sufficient recovery time for each of those muscle groups because you are not exercising every muscle every day. Now, most women have a lower muscle to fat ratio than men, which unfortunately makes us have a slower metabolism. This is because muscle requires more calories to maintain itself than fat does, and it is an active tissue. The good news, though, is that since weight training does enhance your muscle tone, you actually increase your metabolism. And this is why weight training is such a good exercise form to control your weight. And not only does it control your weight, but also makes you more fit and sexier. Throughout the workout, we'll stretch in between the sets, which will also increase exercise efficiency and decrease risk of injury. But be sure to always try to get into that habit of eating a low-fat diet, drinking lots and lots of water, and watching your sodium intake. And remember also to do at least three days of aerobics a week. Now, because women carry much more body fat in their legs than men do, it makes it really, really hard to gain definition in the legs. But with a little hard work, little proper eating, it can be done. And we're going to show you how to do that just now. The squat exercise is the best overall developer shaper for the legs. I'm demonstrating what you can do at home. Michelle is on the Smith Rack machine, 
and Dave is on the power squat. So let's go ahead, pick your weights up. We're going to do some squats, 15 repetitions, and one. I'm squatting on a two-inch board that's put all of the strain and the development on my quads and not on my butt. Descend nice and slow, never lock out. Never ever bounce or relax at the bottom. Just keep your reps nice and smooth and controlled. Keep your back flat, stay tall, never round over. Five more, 11. Keep it up, 12. 13, squat down to a position where your thighs are parallel with the floor. And one more, and up. Excellent. Now we're gonna go ahead and stretch out those quadriceps a little bit. Let's hold on to your leg, pull the leg back, stretch out the muscles in the quad, hold on to something for balance. Ooh, feels great. Let's do the opposite side too. Now I suggest wearing a lifting belt when you do the squat exercise. It will help keep your back nice and tight, it will give you better body awareness. So we've got Dave demonstrating with the lifting belt. All right, another set of 15 repetitions. Develop those thighs. Here we go. You can use your, either use the weight down here on your thighs, or you can elevate them up to your shoulders as if you were going to be using a barbell. Here we go. And one, two. Now remember to keep your knees close together while you stretch, like we just did, and always concentrate on pushing back that weight up with the power of your thighs and not your back. Good. Breathe as you descend, and exhale as you rise. This will come naturally, so you won't really have to think about that much. Five more. Here we go. 13, two more. 14, and one more. 15, excellent, excellent. Also, when you squat, make sure that you always just look forward. Don't look up, don't look down, you lose your balance. Let's go ahead and stretch out those quadriceps some more. Hang on to your foot, stretch in the back, and the opposite side. And while you're stretching, I want you to mentally prepare yourself for the next exercise, the leg extension. Here we go with the leg extension. If you're at home, just sit on a chair or a bench with the bench directly under your knees. You pivot at the knee, or you can do a machine like the other two are showing, which you can find in any gym. So let's go ahead and get started. And here we go up, two sets of 15. I want you to hold the position for just a second at the top, and then slowly, slowly bring it back down, always keeping your torso nice and stationary. Real control, this is a control movement, not a power movement. Just breathe normally. Eight, come on, squeeze it up. Now, if you have bigger joints, like a lot of women do, this is an excellent exercise because it develops more muscle on the upper and lower part of the leg. And this is the last one, 15. And developing more muscle on the upper and the lower part will give the knee joint an illusion of being smaller, smaller and narrower, and that's what I know a lot of people really want. So let's go ahead and stretch out our quadriceps. And you can do this if you have a training partner, stretch out while they're doing their set. This is an excellent exercise for developing the muscle around the knee, which is really important for sports like skiing, football, wrestling, because it strengthens those muscles and helps prevent injury. Let's we'll stretch the other side, and then let's go ahead and get prepared to do another set of 15 repetitions. Stretch it out. Good job. Let's go ahead and get back into position. People at home, sit back on your chairs. I've got ankle weights on. Um, which also adds excellent resistance. And we go up, one, 15, real control, two. I want you to really isolate the muscles and squeeze the muscles. Think about seeing all the definition on the up part of every single lift. Six, halfway done. Leg extensions, like I said, are good separating muscles, exercises. They're not really good for building a lot of muscle size, but they create real beautiful, nice, clean lines between the muscles on the middle part of your thigh. 12, think positive, push it. 13, 14, push it, push it. 15, excellent. Let's go ahead and stretch out again. 
best. And remember, the amount of effort you put in will directly correlate to the amount of results you get. So try to do a few more sets here and there, a few more reps here and there, add a little bit more weight, but really push yourself. And always keep track of your workout on your workout card. Yes! Let's move on to the next exercise. Now the lunge requires some balance, so keep your stomach in nice and tight. If you need to, just hold on to something until you get to the point where you can balance on your own. Let's go ahead and do two sets of 15 repetitions and down. Be sure to work at your own pace when lunging, meaning you can go as shallow or as deep as you can handle, always making sure that your knees are facing forward in the same direction as your toes. Six, that's halfway, and seven, great. Nice and deep lunge. Do all reps on one leg before you go to the other. This way you'll get better development. Now lunges are especially good for toning up the gluteus medius, which is a, the muscle on the side of your hips. Two more, 14, and one more. Let's go. 15, switch legs. Other side, here we go. And down. Good. Make sure you step well out, stretching that upper hamstring and butt muscle. Good. And up, this is a tough one. Keep your stomach pulled in nice and tight. Keep your shoulders nice and square. That will help also keep your balance. Think about yourself reshaping your leg. We're doing great. Come on, hang in there. Five more. One, two, count down. Three, woo, four, and one more. Five. Weights go down. Now that is only one set of 15 repetitions each leg. Let's go ahead and stretch out just like we did before. Let's stretch out. Start to breathe normally. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Stretch the quadricep. Lunge, like I said, is really good for developing and toning and slimming the muscles right here on the sides, the gluteus medius. Here we go. Stretch the other side. Are you guys ready to do another set? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Okay, everybody at home, get your weights. Or you can do this with no weights, but let's do 15 repetitions. Here we go. And down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Concentrate. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, if this gets too heavy, put those weights down and continue to do the movement with no weight at all. I guarantee that will also work. Good. Thirteen. A few more. Fourteen. Come on, you can do it. Fifteen. Halfway there. Opposite side. Ready and down. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Two. You'll thank me for this later when your legs are in great shape. You'll hate me right now. <laughs> Control it nice and slow. Don't rush it. And good. Real nice. Great. You can do this with dumbbells. You can do this with a barbell. You can do this on the Smith Rack machine. Wonderful exercise for reshaping. Good. 12, 13, 14, and one more. Push it up. All the strength in your thigh, excellent. Weights go down. We're gonna get our breathing normalized again. Let's stretch out, stretch the muscles. Inhale, nice and big, and exhale. Good job, leg training is a tough thing, but it is going to work, and I guarantee you're gonna see great results. You're doing great, hang in there. Isolate your hamstrings, and that's the muscle in the back of the thigh. We've done some exercise for the front, now we're going to work the back. We're going to do the leg curl. You can do it standing, like Michelle and I are showing, on a machine or at home with ankle weights, or you can do it in lying position or even a seated position. We're going to go ahead and get started, and here we go. One, curl up, 
two, use only this big muscle right here, three, that's your hamstring, that's what we're developing, toning, tightening, and shaping. Good job. Try to bring that ankle up as close to your, to your leg and your butt as possible. Don't ever jerk the weight up, or don't ever, if you're on this machine, lift your butt up into the air, because if you do, you're using too much weight, and you're cheating by using your stronger back muscles instead of your legs. And here we go, 13, two more, 14, excellent, one more, 15. Immediately switch to the other side, and here we go, and one. Good. Two, Dave will be demonstrating four different exercise, or actually four different sets of 15 repetitions. Each time you work out, don't forget to record it on your workout card and push yourself. Next time, try to do a little bit more weight. All right, nine, 10, <laughs> 11, good job, 12, a few more, squeeze it up, 13, nice and controlled, think about the nice shape you're gonna have in the back there, and one more, 15, good, excellent. Now we're gonna go ahead and stretch out the hamstring, bend both knees, bring the one leg slightly in the front, keep a bend in the knee, we'll put the stretch on the muscle belly in the back. Now one thing I want you to do is while you're training, I want you to throw away all your troubles, all your problems, all your obligations, and I want you to only concentrate on your body and the exact exercise you're doing right now. Don't think about what you did five minutes before or what you're gonna be doing tonight. Think about this hamstring muscle. Every, every exercise, that's all I want you to concentrate on. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do another set of hamstring curls. And ready, and up, one, squeeze it. Two, resist, three, lower it slowly, four, five, that will even make for greater development, six, seven, eight, all you need here is just some, some light weight. There you go, here we go. A few more, 12, come on, 13, 14, squeeze it up, really work it, and 15. Remember, the, the amount of results you're gonna get is how much effort and intensity you put in, opposite side, and up, one. And Dave's the one who's got it hard this time, he's doing four complete sets. <laughs> but you know what, he needs it. <laughs> All right, come on, squeeze it up, squeeze it. And when you're working out at home, just make sure that you always stretch out just a little bit in between every set. Good job. 10, five more. All right, push it. 11, 12, don't get lazy on me now. 13, 14, you're doing this for yourself. I can't do it for you. 15, I wish I could. Excellent, let's go ahead and stretch out again the same way. Just bend both legs. Get the stretch in the middle of the muscle belly of the hamstring, stretch it out. This is the best part, I love stretching. All right, let's stretch out the other leg and let's get ready for the next leg exercise. Now take a nice deep breath and get ready. We're gonna show you three more leg exercises. The hack squat, the leg press, and the sissy squat that you can do at home. So go ahead and get started. We're gonna do 15 repetitions and down one and up. Good job, concentrate on the action of the muscle, not on the amount of weight you're using. Keep it up, never ever change your foot position while you're in the middle of the repetition. Seven, eight, good job now. Now in the hack squat, also make sure you will go down to a position where your thighs are parallel with the floor. And 10, five more, 11, 12, 13, come on. Notice that I'm leaning back, 14, and one more, 15. And this leaning back puts more of the emphasis onto my quadriceps for more development. Good job, let's go ahead and stretch out the quadriceps. Also on the leg press machine and on the hack squat machine, 
If you put your feet low and close together, you'll be working more of your quadriceps. If you put your feet high and wide, you'll be more, working more of your quads, glutes, and hamstrings. So if you want to develop more glutes and hamstrings, put those feet up high and wide. Remember, never bounce or relax in the down position. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath. We're going to do another set of 15 repetitions. Remember, constantly flex and tighten those muscles to maintain good form. And down, one. Good. Two. Slow it down, three. Good job. Four. Now, if you're trying to build more definition, you want to rest less in between your sets. And if you want to build more strength and size, you need a little bit more rest to recover so that you can maintain using a heavier weight. Good job, keep it up. 11 and 12, a few more, pump them out. 13, 14 and one more, good form. 15, great job. Definitely you should be feeling this in your quadriceps. I certainly do, let's stretch it out. <laughs> stretch it out, please. Good job, excellent. And let's get ready for some step ups. Step ups are very similar to the lunge in that you've got to find your balance. So hold in your stomach nice and tight to find your center. Let's go ahead and get started. And one, great. Two, we're gonna do 15 repetitions each leg and try to step up with control using only your step up leg. Don't push off the floor. If you do, you're using your back leg. You're not working this muscle up here in the front. Very good. A few more. Good job. Keep it up. Couple more. Keep it up now. Push it. Two more. 14 and up. And one more. 15. Excellent. Okay, immediately to the next leg. And ready? Let's get ready and drop down. That's one. Good job. Two, we're working the muscles in the quadriceps on the side of the buttocks right there. Four, keep it up. Five, keep your shoulders square, your hips square. Your head just looking forward and that will help maintain your balance. If you notice, we're all on different height steps and that's because we're all different heights for one. And also we're all, we all have different strength levels. So you've just got to experiment at home what you can do 15 repetitions for. Good job. 14, and one more, 15, excellent, put those weights down, and stretch the legs out just a little bit in between here, just grab that leg behind your back, stretch, stretch the quadricep, now remember there's no mystery exercises or magical tricks that will immediately slim and reshape your legs, what you need to do is you need to train with consistency, intensity, and you've got to really be loyal to yourself and get your workouts done. Also, you also have to follow a low-fat diet and continue to do aerobics three to four days a week. Are we ready to do another set of 15 repetitions? Everybody pick up your weights, get up onto your step. We're gonna do another set. Here we go, and one, good, two. Now, if it was too easy the first set, you can either pick up heavier dumbbells, you can step up onto a higher step, or you can put a barbell across your back like Dave is doing. Just think while you're doing these exercises how beautiful your legs are going to look after this workout. So just put up with a little bit of pain for now. Good job, a few more. Try to keep everything square so you maintain your balance, proper form, proper technique. One more, up, yay. Okay, we're gonna switch legs. Proper body balance means you've gotta train both sides equally in one. Good. Two, excellent. Three, four, five. This is your last set on this leg, so give it your all. Six, seven, come on, pump them out. Eight, think, think about your beautiful muscles. Nine, 10, five more, the countdown begins. 11, 12, 
13, this will definitely get your heart rate up. 14, if you're breathing heavy, that's great. You should be. 15, great. Once again, let's stretch out those muscles. Stretch out that quadricep. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you'll need that only for a while because you'll learn how to develop body balance yourself. Excellent, one more time. And as we stretch out, let's forget about the legs, what we just did, and think about the calf exercises. We're gonna develop beautiful calves. Now, to continue our no excuse training, I'm gonna give you three different calf exercises that you can take your choice, and, but make sure you do one of these. You can either do the seated calf, the donkey calf, or the standing calf, which you can do at home with just a dumbbell. Let's go ahead and get started. Ready? Let's take it up. One. Two, we're gonna do 15 repetitions. Three, and squeeze the calf muscle as you get to the top part of the lift. You wanna go through a full range of motion. That's best really to do when you're doing calves. What you do is you let your heels drop all the way down to get a good stretch. And to help me get a good stretch, I've elevated my, my feet up onto a block. And so you should do that at home too. You can just take a two by four. And up, come on now. Two more and one more. Squeeze it up and down, nice and slow. Excellent. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead and stretch the calf. You can just stretch them by pushing back with, in a standing position, or you can even stretch them just off the block that you were standing on. Uh, if you stretch the upper part of the leg, you're stretching the gastric nemius. And if you bend your leg, then you're stretching the Achilles and the soleus, which are muscles that lie underneath your big muscle, the gastric nemius. Let's go ahead and get started and do another set of 15 repetitions. Everybody in your places, get ready. Think about beautiful calves. And here we go. Let's take it up. And one, good, two, you can either have your toes fa faced in, straight forward, or out. It just puts a little bit different variety onto the exercise. Let's push it up. Think about the muscle. Contract. Tighten and flex the muscle at the top. Keep it up. Good job. Think about how nice your calves are going to look when you wear your mini skirts and your shorts. <laughs> Come on. Pump it up. All the way up, squeeze. Good job, two more, and one more. Take it up and down, nice and slow. Very good, let's stretch out the calf one more time. Good job, face forward, stretch out that calf. Excellent. The other side, stretch it out. Great, now let's move on to our low back. Working your low back will actually help you decrease the size of your waist. Here's three low back exercises, the back hyper, the back machine, and also the good morning, which you can do at home. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do two sets of 15 repetitions. Ready? Place that weight gently across your back and down. One, two, three, four. Nice and slow repetitions. Excellent. This is a little bit more difficult of an exercise, so what we want to do is we want to start slow with no weight and gradually work up. Excellent. Now I always like working my low back on my leg day since when you do your legs you're also working your low back. So you might as well work them on the same day. Raise your body just up beyond parallel. Never arch. Never overextend in this exercise. Nice and controlled. Great. Nice and slow control. Good job. It's an excellent strengthening exercise for the muscles in the low back. A lot of people have back pain and back problems. What you need to do is strengthen not only the low back, but strengthen the abdominals, which we're going to do today. Good job. And also work on your flexibility. And uh, two more, nice and slow. Keep that rhythm nice and controlled. And one more, flat back, head up. Good. Keep your neck always in line with your spine. It's really good for the low back. Let's stretch out that low back. Hands go on your hips. Go down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. And lift. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Again, think slow. The last thing that comes down is your head and up. 
Let's do one more. One more, because it feels so good. And <laughs> down. And stretch it. And up. All right, now that we're all stretched out, let's go ahead and do another set. Pump some blood into that back. Get it nice and strong, healthy. Here we go. Let's take it down nice and slow. Real slow and controlled. You never have to use a lot of weight on these exercises. In, down. That's two up. And three. And up. Perfect. Four. And up. Concentrate on the muscles, flexing them totally. And up. Even if you're not using any weight, you can make it feel like weight by just concentrating on flexing and contracting the muscle. And down. And up. Good job. Keep it up. Now, if you have pain when you do this exercise, just skip it. Just don't do it for now. You need to strengthen the muscle slowly. You can stretch, you can relax, you can concentrate on your next exercise, but eventually you'll be able to work into this one. Good job. A few more. Flat back. Three more. There we go. Thirteen. Go one more. Good job. And up. Let's go ahead and stretch out again. You guys should remember that the biggest thrill of weight training is the visual victory. You've won because you've changed your body. Let's stretch it out. And up. Now you've always wanted to have this great shapely body and now you can have it. And you did it and no one can take that away from you. One more stretch. And down. And up. Now you can work your abdominals as often as you'd like. We're showing you three different exercises which you can alternate between or you can do them all in one workout. The decline sit-up, the machine sit-up, and the floor crunch, which everybody can do at home. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's lay on your back and get started. We're going to do 25 repetitions, and let's take it up. One. Good. Two. Now, I would suggest that you do an ab workout every other day for five to ten minutes straight, if you can. Really concentrate on sucking in and squeezing your abdominals. Exhale real hard on the exertion. Squeeze and contract the muscles. Blow your air out. Try to make every repetition count. 12, halfway there. 13, 14. Now if you start to get too tired and you're lacking in your form, which I hope you're not, just stop for a moment and rest and then join up again. Keep it up. Good job. You should be working for a burning sensation in the abdominals. Five more. One. Two. Come on, press that low back into the floor. Three. Four. Contract the abdominals. And five. Good job. Now we're just going to relax for just a minute. And we're going to do another set of 25 repetitions. We're actually going to surprise you. We're going to do three sets of 25. We've got a lot of people out there who want to tighten up, firm up, and shape up their abdominals. Let's go ahead and get started. Another set of 25 repetitions, yay! Don't forget to do this at the end of the workout. Remember, you should do it for five to 10 minutes straight. And three, come on, keep up with me, everybody. Four, five, blow the air out. Six, if you forcibly blow your air out, it also contracts those stomach muscles. Nine, keep it up. 10, 11, if you're doing the floor crunch, 12, don't pull on your neck. Your hands are just gently resting behind your head. Good. What I like to do is I like to do a variety of different abdominal exercises. So if I'm exercising for 10 minutes straight, I may do some decline sit-ups, I may do some lying on the floor crunches, I may do some machine sit-ups. Four more, three more, two more. Good 
Good job. Nice and tight and down. Excellent. Now when you look down, can you see your feet? Can you see your toes? Can you see the floor? If you can't, you're in major, major trouble. And because I'm sure there are some people out there like that, I'm going to make you do another set of 25. So let's go ahead and get started. Another set of 25. Really contract the muscles, hands behind your head. Let's take it up. One. Great. Two. Remember that strengthening your abdominals and strengthening your low back will help alleviate a lot of people's back problems. A lot of people have bad backs because their stomachs are weak. Take it up. When I do my abdominals, I like to do them fast, hard, with no weight, in a non-stop fashion, and that really keeps my waist slim and tight. For people that have wider waists naturally, I suggest not doing weighted sit-ups because that will just build the muscle up more. Okay, let's do 10 more. Last set. Good job. 18, push it, 19, contract, 20, you've only got five more and you're totally done with your workout, 22, 23, count down, 24, and one more, and hold it up and let it down nice and slow, excellent, excellent, now for you people at home, please feel free to keep going. And we'll catch you in the next workout. Bye-bye.